In this video, what we're going to do is look at before and after. Now, these are common things in CSS that you could do a lot of cool art stuff with, but sometimes you just want to add a little bit of textual content before and after something, right? And so I'm going to do this in three different examples because Tailwind gives us the ability to really kind of choose how we want to inject information. So let's start off with the first example. I'm going to have a block quote in here and should say, you totally should. And then what we're going to do inside of here is we're going to have a span. And then we're going to have a span again. And yes, yeah, some of this is from, um, I think directly, some of it is from the site itself, some of the tail end documentation, but also some of the examples I do add to this are you know my own or modified or you know i'm explaining it because they can't sit there and do it for you so subscribe to my channel and this will all make sense when a you know I, I break it all down in a moment here or i will try and soil myself so you totally should subscribe to my channel or i will cry and soil myself Awesome. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and go into the black quote here and let's give it a class name. And we're going to do margin top of 10, which is going to be like about 40 pixels there. We're going to do a text of 2XL. And you kind of get a feel for what size you want as you go along. So we have a font. Let's do a, a semi bold here. We're going to make it italic. And then we're gonna do text center. And then let's do the text color, which is gonna be text slate. And we'll do 900. Let's see how this looks now. So it's in the middle here and you see this subscribe looks like really crappy, but we're gonna fix that in just a moment. So now that we have the black quote done, let's come in here and work on the first span. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a class name. And then we're going to do a before. We're going to do block. We're going to do before. You see, you have to have multiple in a row. Absolute. So for those out there that do CSS kind of art, I would not necessarily do that in Tailwind this way. I would figure out some other method that works for you. So block before absolute. Inset one, and then let's do before, and then this skew y3, and then we'll do a before background red 500 right there. And then we're going to come in after that, and then we're going to do, we're going to make it relative. And then an inline block. And it, I don't have to come in and explain a lot of this stuff here because this is just kind of showing you kind of at a high level view. The next couple examples I do, I think we'll hone it in a bit better, but this is a little bit larger of an example. So let's come in here to this class name here. Let's start fixing this up. We're going to make this relative. We're going to do text white. And then we're going to make this um, text. 3XL, inline block, and then uh, margin on the X axis, so left and right, we'll give that three right there. So that's pretty dope. And let's go ahead and save this, and hopefully everything should line up with what I see off screen. And we see this right here, and it looks kind of weird, right? It's not uh, where it should be. So let's come back to the code here, and give me just one moment to look at what I have, and everything should line up, but I have a feeling something is off. And I think possibly it's right here. So there we go. So we have this right here and it doesn't necessarily look, you know, the coolest right now. Um, you know, I, I just kind of think I pulled this from um, either, like I said, Tailwind's um, documentation or from somewhere else where I was looking at it here. But this is a way where you could you know, if you're really creative with the before and after stuff here relies heavily on before, 
this is a way you can implement it. But this example may go over the head a little bit because you're not trying to do necessarily all that stuff. So let's go ahead and delete this. I'm going to make a paragraph tag here. And then let's do this won't work. We'll do class name. And then we're going to come in and we're going to do, let's do a padding of 10. So I like to spruce things up a little bit. Margin top of 10. Let's do a text of 2XL. Font, semi-bold. And then we're going to do after. And then we're going to do content. Right? And then we're going to do a hyphen. And have these open, closed little squiggly brackets here. because it sucks. So we have this, and so what should happen before is, we should see, you know, because it sucks, happen right before here, right? So let's come in and, well, it's not, it's not working, it won't, it won't work, right? And be, that's because you may think, oh, I just need to type things in here as is. So, why is it not working? This looks very straightforward. So let me go and come in here and let me show you two other examples. So I'm going to copy and paste. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do this one at a time so it's a little less confusing. So I'm going to come in here and give this the BR so there's a bit of visu uh, a visual break right there. And so let's say that I want some text coming in before. Let's name this this uh, will work. So say I do want some text in here, but like how how do i how do i get it to that point right and so one way that we could do that quite easily is we can add a attribute here delete everything inside i didn't want to do that and so we're going to do an attr before all right that's cool and I don't know why I did that there. There we go. Let's tighten that up now. Sorry for that. And so I have the ATTR before, but what is before? Um, this doesn't make sense. So if we come in here and just declare before, and we just have a space, because we're going to need a space, because... I am smart. Actually, we have an after. <laughs> Sorry, I may have just said it was before because I was in the zone, but this will work because I am smart. So we declare this thing called before, and we do after colon content, this col kind of thing here, and we look for the attribute, and we pass it the value of before, and before is this. So that's pretty cool. Let's come in here, though. And actually, I'll copy kind of a little bit of everything here above. Come down and we'll save it. So now this is one, two. This doesn't work. This does work. But what if I don't want before? What if I just think that's a bunch of, you know, uh, there's a lot going on in my file and I just don't need it happening. So how do I achieve this, but like in a way that is better, right? So I could come back into here, right? Our old familiar friend. And I could just do this, underscore, which is a space, because I am smart. Let's go ahead and save this. This will work because I am smart. And so in this example, you could have before, which gets referenced in here. But if you don't want to go through all that trouble, you just have to realize that your spaces and stuff like that need the um, underscores to say, hey, this is going to be a space and I want it parsed out that way. Otherwise, you run into the issue here above where it won't work because it gets to this and it doesn't know what to do and it doesn't render anything out. So if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.